Mr. Rollins, if you're thinking... Easy, you can call me easy. <laughs> easy, if you're thinking that Frank had anything to do with Coretta's death, and obviously you don't know very much about him. Frank doesn't go around beating people up. He prefers to use a knife as his weapon. And what do you prefer to use as your weapon? Well, why don't you search me and find out? Jennifer Beals and Denzel Washington in 1995's Devil in a Blue Dress. Based on the acclaimed novel by Walter Mosley, one of America's best and most famous novelists. Two years ago, Mosley became the first black author to receive the National Book Foundation Medal for his work. Now he's getting more attention than he has in years for his latest book called Every Man a King, featuring an ex-cop turned detective, Joe King Oliver. If you want to get rich, you go into real estate. You don't write books. And so I'm not looking to get rich. I'm just looking to publish books and to, and to live a life of, you know, of, of satisfaction. Walter Mosley spent his early years in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles, the only child of a black father and a white Jewish mother. They believed in themselves and their rights in the world, and they believed in me. And so that allowed me, you know, to be somebody regardless of any, you know, external definition of who I was. My parents gave me a lot. Mosley tried political science and computer programming, but didn't start publishing books until he was 34 years old. He's turned out more than 60 cents. Beyond his calling card, the mysteries, Mosley's done nonfiction, science fiction, graphic novels, erotica, and plays, plus television, including Snowfall. You tried to have me killed? No, I gave you good money to handle the job, if you could. I left, but not before I kept my promise. And the Apple series, The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray, starring Samuel L. Jackson, based on Mosley's 2010 novel. Of course you ain't spent this money on impressing her. Uh, celebrating her. It's been a while, though, since there's been buzz like this. There's more attention being paid uh, to this book than I've had in a long time. And there are places, like, for instance, to have, like, a, a full-page review, also a cover a page review on the New York Times book review. That's a America's Nobel right there, you know. I mean, it's, it's wonderful, you know. And I never had it before. Why, why do you think it's happening now? Well, I think that America is changing as far as their appreciation of one of culture, but also of genre and of the meaning and the strength of language. Mosley's new book, Every Man a King, follows the path of Joe King Oliver as he looks into the case of a man who may have been wrongly imprisoned. For me, it's very different. I, in most of the mysteries I write, you know, my, my black detectives don't want to get anywhere near the police. They work for people who the police don't serve. They work against what the police are trying to do. But in this case, I made him a policeman because he was going to go to prison. And I want to say, not only is he black going to prison, but he's a black policeman going to prison. So he has no friends in there. He's trying to seek justice. He's trying to seek justice by going to Rikers to help a white nationalist. Yeah. Which is rich. Well, you know, every, every novel that's, that's worth its salt is about something other than the story, something other than the plot. And in, in, this, in this book, it's about replacing hatred with love. Racially, are we in a better place in America today than when you started writing? Yes, we are in a better place today than we were. But because we're coming closer together, there's a lot more friction. For Mosley, the source of that friction is simple. Follow the money. People of color are more included than they ever have been. And part of that is because of the amoral, artificial intellect of capitalism. Because they're saying, we have to do this. What, because somebody writes, a, a black person writes a book, and puts it out there, and then all these people buy the book. You know, usually, mostly black people. And, and, and capitalism says, oh, that's a way to make money, so we're gonna pr print more of those books. 
what, what, because we are a part of the economy, we are more included. And that's, you know, that's gotten better. And part of it is political. But the, but the people at the top are not doing it because of morality, they're doing it because of money. Nobody's doing it for morality. For the past 14 years, Mosley has made Brooklyn you know, his home, down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass. You know, when I'm in L.A., I say, well, this is L.A., or this is California. When I'm in New Orleans, I say, well, this is New Orleans or Louisiana. But when I'm in New York, it, it feels like national, you know. It's like one great big old bear hug. That's how I feel about it. I like that. He writes every single day as soon as he wakes up, 365 days a year. How long do you want to write for? You mean in my life? Yeah. I believe that people should be able to retire, especially if they do something that they hate, you know, or that, that wears them down. But animals don't retire, you know, and I'm an animal. I, I write, I love writing, and I'm going to keep on writing, you know. And, you know, I mean, at some point or another, something might go wrong with my head, or I might be, you know, too tired, but... Right now, I, I plan to write until I can't write anymore. And people make a mistake of <clears throat> considering Mosley just a mystery writer. Mm -hmm. He's a novelist. I mean, there's so much more love, race, money, whatever he writes about. It's, it's so much richer. I mean, there, there's always this brisk plot to his books, but there's so much more to it. And the sheer enormity. I mean, he has such range yeah. in what he, not only, to your point, what he's written, but the mass of books he's yeah. written is incredible. He's at a pace of two a year now. Well, and that passion for it, I, I didn't think about it until what he said. If you don't like it, yeah, you should be able to retire. Right. But if animals but if don't retire, it, if you love it, keep, keep doing, doing it. it. He actually said it. if you if you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll work forever.